hi guys how you guys doing welcome you all to my channel so um i haven't vlogged in a while because to be honest i feel like i don't know what to vlog about but school resumes on monday so it's just best i pick up my camera again and then start vlogging so we are resuming the second year first semester on monday and then on saturday which is tomorrow we have a church picnic um on saturday so i'm gonna vlog tomorrow and then on sunday i'm taking an activity in church i'm gonna vlog it so it's just best i start the vlog and then go through i also want to be very intentional about vlogging but you guys that aside i am just so worried like i don't want to start this vlog on a nagging or like a rant but the thing is i imported like stuff from china i imported like um sewing machines packaging um stuff like a whole package from china and it's been held in custom office i don't know how to feel about that and because like basically i use like c method to ship it we're supposed to take like 40 days right through shape and all of that through c method and then 10 days on top of the 40 days so it means this is like 50 days now has gone and i don't have any information so the tracking number basically like tracking is on the tracking number and the tracking number is even saying that it's not moving you know it's just the funny enough is that it has gotten to custom on the seventh which is like um two weeks before the initial 40 days it has been in the custom office so now this is making it like three weeks what is it doing there and the fact that they've not even like gotten back to me they didn't send a message to me to tell me that okay the package is in the custom you have to do this you have i don't have any clue they're not sending any information to me they didn't message me they didn't mail me the tracking number is just there it's not moving it's not doing anything for like the past three weeks and i'm just so worried like what is it doing there for the past three weeks and i'm not even getting like information that okay maybe send the details or send something or come and clear it no information at all and then that aside and then i think like last month the same month also i brought in um african prints from nigeria and then it got to custom right custom cleared it they mailed me when it got to custom they called me when it got to custom and then we started talking via mail and they asked me to like you know indicate all the packages i had and everything and the next day or the next the next day it was clear you know so they reached out to me today we went back and forth today we concluded tomorrow and then the next day once we're done with the conclusion it got cleared and then they brought it to the dormitory like my address right but this one from china they are not even mailing me they didn't even call me and i'm just so worried because it's like three weeks and i don't know what to do and it's just kind of like keeping me on a hold because i really want to like start off like before school resume so that i can try to like balance things up that aside i don't even want to rant about that so i'm just hoping i don't know how long it's going to take now i don't know how many days more it's going to take i'm just trying to figure out how i can get in touch with the custom people maybe vehicles or something and then see what is going on like talk to me please i'm not even ready for school on monday school starts on monday and i feel like i'm not ready huh? another semester another reading another book we have one more year to go amaka just keep pushing you know and also <clears throat> there's thesis to write i've not even done like the correction of my chapter one thesis and school results on monday <laughs> i've not done it guys i'll school with you on monday anyways i intend to vlog very well this school period because a lot of activities are going to be coming up so it's easier for me to vlog right but i'm watching this movie on youtube now and it just made me to like i'm gonna link the movie below it just made it to like think so f basically let me just like just you guys what the movie is and let me know like you guys opinion in the comment section right so there was this couple they are married but when they were dating they did like a distance relationship stuff so um the lady was like doing the distance relationship the guy had the idea of um i'm not married to you yet i cannot spend on you i have a brother who spent on a lady and the lady end up demarrying him i'm not ready to go through that road i'm not ready to spend on you right so that was the reason why what the guy gave the girl right and then she was like okay it's fine as long as we're not married yet you know 
and that's why i feel like a guy who is stingy in relationship is going to be stingy in marriage it's just very simple there is no two way about it if you can't give when you have ten dollars you can't give when you have hundred dollars if you can't give when you have hundred you can't give when you have one thousand but this is the guy's excuse right that he can't give out money until when he's married to the lady and since it was a distance relationship and the lady in question was working right so they eventually got married and then the guy is very calculative so the guy counts like the slices of bread like okay we there are 24 slices of bread you ate three yesterday i ate three so this bread should last for three days you know the guy knows where water or like drink or anything is the guy is very like to the extent that there was a scene in the movie where the guy calculated like our pads like our menstrual pads to say a pack of pads is seven pieces you're supposed to use seven for two months why did you use four is that five you know like stuff like that like a lot of silly things so the girl was like oh i need to make my hair i've carried the hair for two months and the guy was like it's not old enough i have skills you can come i'll wash it for you i'll make it for you it's not rough just <sighs> And I'm like, are there guys like that? Are there even people like that in such relationship? But the thing is, one of the reasons why I feel like, I'm still watching the movie anyway. One of the reasons why I feel like the woman is actually enduring in such marriages, marriage is because she's not working. So she was working before she got married. So according to her, she didn't really take it that serious or deep based on his stinginess, right? And the man asked her to stop working because it feels like if she's working, it means he's not able to take care of her, it means he's not performing his role. And because obviously, if the woman is working, she's going to have her own money. And if she has her money, you can't control her that way. You can't be calculating like the, where the drink gets in the bottle, the number of pads you are supposed to use, um, the bread, the rice. If it sees like buns rice or something in the kitchen, it's going to help, you know, go crazy, hell at her. And I'm just like, it's simply because the lady is not working. If she was working, trust me, she won't be enduring that. And also because the man knows that if she starts working, she's going to have power or ego. And she's not going to tolerate that. So it actually stops her from working. So she's just there in the house, losing herself out in the, in the name of marriage. She's just there. She can't really... So a friend who comes to visit her, she can't offer her friend drink because the guy knows where the drink is. <laughs> And I'm just like, what kind of marriage is this? Is this marriage or relationship or bondage? What is it exactly? I really want to see how it's going to end at the end of the day. I'll link the movie below. It's just so crazy. I really want to see how it's going to end. And that's why I feel like, as a lady, have your money. Have your job. Have your business. Have something you are doing. Not because of anything, but because it gives you a form of entitlement, a form of power. You know, like it gives you, the man can say in the first place, why will you even be in such relationship with the man who is stingy? That's to start with. <laughs> That's stingy. And his excuse is because somebody that is somebody, this is me, you know. It's, I don't know how like I can't I can't believe that there are people in such relationship. But maybe somebody watching this video is actually going on with the person. But let me know what you guys think. If you are the lady in such situation, what will you do in the comment section? If you found yourself in such relationship or you've once been in such relationship or such marriages or you've seen people in such marriages, such relationship, let me just know in the comment section. You know, it's, it has a long way to encourage someone below or somebody who is watching. You might feel like you don't want to share, but the truth is somebody who is watching might actually learn from me. I really want to know in the comment section because the way the guy is stingy and calculating everything is crazy like if you are not married to such person you just leave even if you are married to such person as a lady please make sure you have something you are doing because if she has something she's doing the reason why the man stopped her from working and even when she suggests that she wants to work is like when you start working you're not going to be support um submissive is that submissive or bully I really want to know what we are putting at the end of the movie, but let me know in the comment section. So, this is just like my little rant one about the movie, and then two, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I don't know how long those equipment or stores from custom is going to get cleared, but tomorrow I'll bring you guys along for the church picnic, and then on Sunday I have an activity on Sunday, and then on Monday we do first day at school. I'm getting into vlogging, so. <laughs> hi guys good afternoon guys it's a beautiful saturday afternoon and i've literally just been on my bed i haven't done anything 
um serious like going out of the bed so today is saturday we have like a church picnic today which i'm going to bring you guys i think we want to do like bowling games i'll definitely bring you guys along so um it's a saturday i'm just like editing first thing first is i'm watching this movie i feel like very very interesting the black book very interesting and then i'm editing the video that will be up um before this video so once this gets like 100 percent then i'll definitely leave and then i'll bring you guys along and i hope you guys enjoy it i think it's just like bowling and then just fun activities but it's basically like a church um hangout so we're gonna go together okay <laughs> I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt So guys, I'm actually ready. I'm late actually, but let me show you guys like my full outfit. It's windy, so I have this jacket guys i'm late like i'm late already so i'll definitely catch up with you guys when i get to the occasion so guys um i think i'm, I'm actually very late like extremely late. Not too late i don't think i'll be able to meet up with the bowling section but you cannot meet up with at the least section. i'll be able to meet up with food which is also very important and also just hang out too um so that's basically what it is and let me show you guys like what the view looks like it's given like this forest kind of like view i don't know oh there's like a lake here let me show you guys was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time, to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall
yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up on my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away It was fun. I really, really enjoyed myself. It was actually very fun. Uh, we played like the bowling. Thank God I came late, but luckily enough, I was able to still like meet up with seats. So I played that. Um, I also played like the table tennis. Then we played like indoor games like Jerga. Then I also went to like play football you know so it was actually very nice i really really like enjoyed myself it was fun i enjoyed myself and yeah it's just cool like people coming together to just like have fun catch some vibes be in the moment Hello. and just like enjoy How them <laughs> enjoy our youtube channel make sure you subscribe like. hundred thousand we're expecting that see you <laughs> <laughs> So anyway guys, I'm heading back now to the dome and then we move again tomorrow which is on Sunday and I hope you guys enjoy this vlog so hi guys good morning it's a beautiful Tuesday morning and I'm just heading to class this is like my first time going to class this semester actually um yeah i really don't know how it's gonna be but i'm so excited i didn't show you guys my full outfit so let me show you guys what my outfit looks like quickly <laughs> basically what it looks like just like a very simple round neck top and then a trousers and then sneakers yeah actually I'm not really ready <laughs> I just want every day to be like public holiday basically but we're gonna do what we're gonna do okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and as usual like share and subscribe I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah guys it's a bit noisy but i'm trying to look out for a spot then i'm gonna share with you guys what i want to share with you guys so we had like the first class of a professor today and then the professor was like explaining okay i think it's i think it's okay yeah. and then the professor was like explaining um different stages or what am i going to like different stages and studies and all of that and then it was like okay the first one you have is um bsc bachelor's degree 
and then for bachelor's degree you have your masters which is like msc after that you move to um phd which is like four years after phd then you move to doctor that's for doctor you have to like publish um article and then you have to write like a test book or something like that then after the doctor then you have to move to like professor where you know for a professor there's always like a two hours exams and then you know you have to like pass through some stages and exams and all of that something like that then after the professor then they have what they call um what did you call it again prof doctor something like that where they are going to have um about five professors and then you come you've been interviewed by not like interview but like you have to submit like your academic achievement and every other thing for the five professors and then they'll either pick like a yes or a no so if you have like four years then you have to move to like the next stage and that one is usually commissioned by the president so every year two times in a year the Polish um, the president will like commission the new set of professors and all of that and then there's another way you call honorable honorable hc and i'm like hold on hold on we already know where we are stopping we know where we are stopping we are not going to all these places okay for me personally like it's even a struggle this msc <laughs> this msc is really msc already you know like it's even like we can't see like for me personally i can never wait for it to be over like i'm not looking forward to like when am i going to be done and then it was like you have like hc where you have like hc in your name honorable where uh, you be recognized by the president and you can have like two of it and i'm like oh no shout out to those of you who are dreaming aspiring and have the vision to get to that last point but you see for some of us <laughs> we cannot it's a whole long journey it's a whole long process we are not even interested okay and in my head it was just like explaining like the stages and the number of years and the things you have to do and i'm like i know where i'm gonna stop okay and shout out to every PhD students, every professor, every doctor watching this video, you guys are really, really doing amazing because you see all the steps and the documents and the requirements. It is not for the faith hearted like us, it's not for people like us who we are already tired of reading. Like, and I feel like for you to get to that stage, it has to be something that you have interest and also passion because if you are not passionate about this. You see all those process of even, even PhD alone, you have to be passionate, you have to have interest and then you move to like doctor and then you move to like professor, you move to like HD, another HD. <laughs> Shout out to those of you that are in that, in that um, process or in that line, you guys are the real MVP because you guys are doing well. And for those of us that are struggling, let me know where you are struggling. If you are doing BSc and you are struggling or you feel like bsc that's enough let me know in the comment section if you feel like oh msc that's where you want to stop that's where you are struggling to even get to let me know in the comment section if you are doing phd or you are doing bsc but you feel like phd is something where or a part where you love to stop let me know in the comment section where you want to stop like academically you know it kind of like explained this but i'm just like I know where I want to stop I'm not ready for all those parts at all I get the point that you know like it's it's it adds to like your achievements when you want to introduce yourself you have like a whole lot of you know you are saying like a whole lot of things HD I'm a professor I'm a doctor but some of us we don't have the brain <laughs> we don't have the brain to even carry talk less about going through that process but let me know where you aspire to get to in the academic journey and also where you are currently so i'm currently doing my msc and i feel like msc is even enough but if i even want to like stretch myself i know that okay it's just phd if and that phd it says i'm ready to extremely stress myself but you see the whole professor doctor hc hc 
it's a no go area for me i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i feel like this vlog is already long enough thank you so much for watching and of course don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe let me know your academic goal where you where you want to achieve in the comment section and where you are currently at thank you so much i'll definitely see you guys in my next one bye